It was all but obvious that Ukraine's neighboring countries would have some role or the other to play after Russia's invasion that began in February. While northern neighbor Belarus has sided with Russia, Kyiv's western neighbor of Moldova is now witnessing protests for its pro-European stance. Around 7,000 protesters took to the streets of Chisinau on Sunday, Moldova's capital city, for the sixth straight week, demanding President Maya Sandu's resignation. Not just this, protesters have set up tents outside her house and vowed not to leave it till such time she steps down. Let's find out more. It's been a month since the small country of Moldova erupted in protests. Organized by Ilan Shor, an exiled politician and his party, the protesters' demands are very simple and straightforward. Use Russian gas, lower prices and inflation, and quit towing NATO and EU's line. You see, President Maya Sandu, who came to power in 2020 with an overwhelming majority in the elections, has positioned herself as more open to the European Union. Condemning Vladimir Putin for the war in next-door neighbor Ukraine, she said last month, and I quote, Russia's unjust war against Ukraine clearly shows us the price of freedom. But in today's situation, such a stance has proven to be costly for one of Europe's poorest countries. Last month, Moldova's gas regulator raised prices by 27% for households. Inflation in the nation is at an astonishing 33% high. Mind you, Moldova was one of the biggest beneficiaries of Russian gas. Like the EU, a cut in Russian supplies meant that the country is now struggling. Russian state-owned company Gazprom cut energy supplies to the nation by 30% in October and called for the nation to clear its outstanding dues of $709 million. In fact, Moldova even criticized Moscow earlier this month as Russian missiles flew over the nation's airspace. Moldova's government demanded that its border neutrality be respected. The scenes in Moldova are a spitting mirror image of what the EU is going through. Intentions to boycott Moscow backfiring, plunging into an energy crisis, cost of living going through the roof, and then citizens taking to the streets, demanding accountability from their political representatives. While these protests aren't likely to disturb the electoral mandate of President Sandu, this is indeed one of the strongest protests in her two-year-old tenure. People in Moldova have begun viewing the crisis their country is in as a creation of the government. This crisis, they argue, can be solved if good ties are maintained with Russia and the EU is not allowed to dictate Moldova's internal and foreign policies. The European Union on its part gave a candidate status to Moldova, but an actual membership continues to remain a distant dream. Additionally, the EU has also promised financial, military and energy aid to the small nation. The protests don't seem to have deterred Sandu from her pro-Europe and pro-NATO stance, but can she cling on to it longer, given the worsening crisis the anti-Russia bloc faces?